Okay, one aspect of machine learning that has really taken off is text analytics. And there are a lot of ways to do text analytics, um, but all of them require you to start off by processing your text and parsing it out in a way that makes it more understandable. So the first thing you need is something with some text. So it could be um, a list of text messages or emails. Uh, it could even be a set of documents that you've downloaded for research purposes. It could be a set of tweets. In our case, we have some job listings that we found on uh, the Google website. So I'm going to bring those into my workflow here, my pipeline. And the first thing we'd like to do is, well, let's take a look and see what we have. So we've got the company name that's listing the job. We've got the job title. We've got the category that the job is in, the location, job responsibilities, minimum qualifications, and preferred qualifications. So you can see the responsibilities, minimum qualifications, and preferred qualifications are longer freeform text fields, whereas these others, title, category, and location, we would consider more categorical in nature. All right, and we can profile the data. We can see we've got two companies, mostly Google, a little bit of YouTube, uh, job titles, we've got uh, a number of different job titles. And we can see we have 794 unique values for title. Twenty three unique uh, values for category. 92 unique values for location. And then responsibility, um, well, I'm gonna imagine we have pretty much all unique values. Uh, maybe not, we have total count of 1250 and a unique values of 802, so some repeats in there. Minimum qualifications, total count 1250, unique values 808, a few missings. Preferred qualifications, 1250, 14 missing, 822 unique values. All right, so there's a little bit of repetition in there, but uh, what we'll do is we're going to see what we can do to analyze this text. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna flip over to the components and we can see we actually have a group of text analytic tools right in here. Convert word to vector, extract n-gram features from text, feature hashing, latent Dirichlet allocation, preprocess text, score ValPal Wabbit model, and train ValPal Wabbit model. So we'll take a look at all of these except for the ValPal tools. Now, for those of you who uh, really want to get into text analytics, Valpal is a very powerful set of analytic tools that is uh, useful for uh, large dimensionality data sets and large data sets and has become extremely popular for use in a lot of different areas, including text analytics. So that may be worth exploring and you can get all kinds of different versions of it for you know, different programming languages for Python. Uh, and of course you can run Python code right here in the Azure ML environment with one of the Python pills. So we're gonna look at the other five and we'll start with pre-process text. So the pre-process text asks for us to bring in uh, the data set. We can supply our own set of stop words, but before we get that far, let's take a look at the parameters. So the parameters ask us to provide a text column that we want to clean. And we're going to select just a single column. All right, so that's an important thing to remember. 
expand verb contractions. Let's take a look at the pill itself and see what we can find out about it. All right, so we've got pre-processed text, and we, as you saw, we had a lot of parameters that we can configure. So we're choosing one text column to clean. We can uh, remove stop words. We can uh, lemmatize or stem the words in the text, basically uh, create common root words for all the different variations you might find for a word. Uh, we can detect the end of sentences. This is an important one so that you don't create bigrams or trigrams or longer n-grams that span multiple sentences. You can actually replace expressions with other words or other expressions if you want. So this is a place where you can uh, customize the replacement. We can normalize case. We can uh, remove extraneous characters, numbers, special characters, you know, ampersands, quotation marks, punctuation, duplicate characters, especially if you have someone that creates an extra long version of a word by just putting a lot of vowels in one after the other. We can eliminate email and URLs, email addresses and URLs, normalize uh, slashes, if a special character is in the middle of a, what looks like a word, we'll split that into two words. So all kinds of options there that we can select from. So if we go back to our authoring, we can see uh, most of these default to true. So you can do more or less all of your pre-processing right in one pill here. The main first step is to determine, well, which column is it we need to clean? So if we go back to job listings, preview the data again, we can remember, okay, I want to uh, start with responsibilities. So we'll do that first. All right. Now, because we have to do this one at a time, we're basically going to run the pre-processed text for all three of those text fields. So I'll create another one. First, I will customize this one with my node information, pre-process responsibilities. All right, so I copy and paste. And the next one we will pre-process and at this point we're going to have to, since we haven't run the pipeline down here, we're going to have to enter our column names. So minimum qualifications, we'll do that one. And then we'll do preferred qualifications.
Okay, at this point, we want to start our compute instance after we save our pipeline. Select, let's select our compute instance and submit our job and see what we end up uh, getting. Let's create a new one and we'll call this text processing examples. Submit. And I'll change the pipeline name here. All right, let's see what our job looks like. And we're going through our first responsibilities text field, and uh, we'll wait and uh, let it run through minimum qualifications, then preferred qualifications. I'll pause video and we'll come back when it's done. All right, we're done. Let's see what we've got now. And if we look at our results data set, we have our original responsibilities, minimum qualifications, and preferred qualifications. But we now have three new fields, our pre-processed responsibilities, minimum and preferred qualifications. So let's see what happened here. All right, so we can see our triple pipe that indicates that we have a new sentence there. That means that, in this case, role experience won't become a bigram. And let's see uh, what else we've done. Uh, it has activity. So activities, it's basically turned it into a standard word activity. So you'll see a lot of that going on. It's going to strip away the punctuation and give us more uh, standardized words that we can then move forward with. All right, so that's pre-processing text. And you can see we did a lot of work just in that pill. Let's take a look at those uh, parameters we ran again. Yes, we expanded verbs. We chose one column each time, removed stop words, lemmatized the data, identified the end of sentences, normalized our case, removed numbers, special characters, duplicate characters, email addresses, and URLs, turned all slashes the same direction, and split words based on any kind of oddball characters in the middle of a word. All right, so fair amount of work there. Uh, let's move on and see what we'd like to do next.